Easy peasy. First question is, spare or swallow? <laughs> oh, my God. Spit. Why? You're a quitter. Wow. Spit. All right, cool. Go ahead. Depending on the guy. It's definitely depending on the guy. Huh? That depends on the guy. Okay, so what? Hygiene. Hygiene? If he eats good? But regardless, I'm like, that's like, if, we're, if, I, if I'm with the guy, most likely they're like, they take care of their body because I take care of my body, so. Okay. Yeah, so. so you're going to swallow? It is what it is. My nigga. <laughs> All right, cool. Go ahead. Um, spit. Spit. You're a quitter. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, swallow only if they deserve it, but spit if they don't. Okay, what would make a guy deserve it? Um, if they're respectful, um, obviously if they're like, obviously if they're like my boyfriend, but if it's just like a random guy or I need whatever. you to be respectful while you're doing the least respectful thing to me right now, <laughs> ejaculating in my mouth, okay? No, you know what I mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, just kind of funny I get, I get, that you said that. I get what you're saying, though. But you know it, what I mean? In general, like, they respect you. Madam, do you mind yeah. if I ejaculate inside of your mouth? Is this okay? <laughs> okay, that's the way. <laughs> okay. Both of them. Both of them? Both of them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Swallow with a side of eye contact. That's it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yo, she's quiet, oh. but she a freak freak. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so the eye contact. <laughs> with Let's the eye see. contact. Um, swallow if you're my man, but if you're not my man, sorry, I'm spitting. Okay. So I got to be your man. <laughs> got to be my man. All right, enough. Only question. privileges. That's your man privileges, not everybody else's privilege. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So next question is, where is the craziest place you ever had sex? The beach. The beach? Yeah. W was it Sandy? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. That was, that was horrible. <laughs> Why are you so shy all of a sudden? <laughs> this is easy questions. Uh, wait, what was the question again? Oh. <laughs> Where did you have sex that was like mad crazy? Mad crazy. Um, I'll say, it wasn't too crazy, but it was like the side of my mom's house. The side of your mom's house. <laughs> you was outside. So, <laughs> like a trailer or some shit? Like, no, catch no, me outside. You, you was in your room or you was outside? It was like, I was, it was like, you know. You got I, talking to Mike, though. It was just, it was outdoors. But it was like standing up, so. Your mama was home? Nah, she wasn't. Oh, damn, she didn't know all the It was so, my, my brother was home, so I couldn't go inside the house. So, uh, so he's telling me okay. you took dude outside. Say, hey, come come in this corner over here. <laughs> I'm lift my leg up. No, nah, cause like no, it wasn't even like that. Like we're we've been messing around for like a while, so that was like we're like together. So okay, it okay. was just like one of those like spontaneous. Oh, let's okay, you know, adventurous type thing. Yeah, yeah you get in. Uh, I like enough. that. I like that. Yeah, you. I really I don't have one like crazy like at all. It's just like. In a room, in an apartment. <laughs> You're in college. What's going on here? I Leave her alone. <laughs> what? Stop the cat. Stop the cat. <laughs> no, I'm, ser I'm serious. Like, I don't know. Have you ever done a threesome? No. She's a pure girl. <laughs> Stop the cat. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. Okay. All right. What about you, Miss uh, Spitter? <laughs> <laughs> I hope um, you don't spit probably... your boyfriends. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Start looking for new girls, my friend, if you're watching. <laughs> um, honestly, uh, probably the car. That's the car? not the crazy. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to say the stairwell at the bottom of our apartment building. What, nice. what time was it? <laughs> <laughs> what time was it? It was the middle of the day. God like, damn. Broad daylight? At the day. like the last bottom stair, there's like a little cut underway. You know, there's no <laughs> doors. Know. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? All you can do is go under the stair. Man. <laughs> I love me some time. BBW. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, what about you? Okay, um, in the car, outside of a party with people passing by. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, were you, were you just staring at him the whole time? <laughs> what? I, I mean, did you make an eye contact the whole time? <laughs> Not blinking and shit? No, it was kind of like a little detached, to be honest, but a little detached, so it wasn't eye contact the whole time, but, you know, just looking out partially. Damn. So, you know, was the car like moving like. <laughs> <laughs> was it moving like that? No, we stopped as people were passing, so. Yeah. That must have been tiresome. Okay, I'm fucking. <laughs> uh, stop. Uh, 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 stop. <laughs> Okay. okay. What about you, Ms. Yeah. well? Let's see. Oh, On shit. the hood Let's of a see. car oh, in shit. the middle of a neighborhood parked. <laughs> you go, girl. The hood of a car in the middle Listen, of a neighborhood park? Started in the car, right? It's a little cramped. So uh -huh. we were like, okay, no one around. Uh -huh. So pick me up, put me on the hood, and it's 
Was yeah. that comfortable though on the hood of a car? That sounds like, like there's some... more space, you know. You just... I, I guess. You know what? <laughs> that sounds like some Hylia shit. <laughs> yeah, that was Hylia. No. Okay. <laughs> She's been as well. It was like four in the morning though. Okay, there was no one around. Everyone was. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, four a.m. Let's hit some of these super chats, super chat. ladies. Uh, uh, we're gonna give you a shot to give your final uh, thoughts, thoughts and questions, whatever it may be. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah. A Terzo, twenty hours. Uh, half of marriages end in divorce. Eighty percent of divorces are initiated by women. Twenty percent of men win in divorce. Ladies, why should a man want to get married? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, it's very risky for a man to get married. Yep. Uh, Black Wolf Inc. Twenty hours. Myron, please do the wife husband store analogy. These ladies got to learn the hard way. Sadly, <laughs> no, nah, I don't uh, think any of them are marriage minded. They kind of want to have their fun, right? All you guys, right? None of you guys really give a fuck about getting married right now. Wow. I I, I don't know if they're, they're, there's there's hope. <laughs> <laughs> that, At least someone keeps it real. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, look, look I'll, I'll say this, right? Even though you have three kids, there's some, I can't say the word, there's some guy out there that doesn't get any access. Let's say, you know what? If you play your cards right, you could, you could probably bag him. But if he learns his, his worth as a man, it may go away. That's all I'm going to say. So you need to find a guy that doesn't have game and doesn't know his worth. And you'll be good. Oh, wow. wow. I mean, I, I've i dated, like, I would say top quality men, top tier men, mm. like high value men. Yeah. And they've known I've had kids. It's just that I guess some of the other aspects, because I think ultimately, I think the woman chooses. Okay. I'm just going to have to say it, Landon, right. Landon, because I, I love when women say that. Oh, I've dated high value guys, whatever. Do you have a ring? No. Okay, exactly. Stop. Stop the cap. If, if you don't get a ring, it ain't real. A man, like I said, uh, uh, even if I'm the one who chose not to date him, then you left him. Yeah. So then he wasn't he wasn't what you wanted then. Right, yeah. but it doesn't make him any less of a high value man. He's just not the one for me. I mean, there's many high value men. I could choose another one. A, but, a, a woman does not win until a guy that she loves and admires proposes to her. Yeah. I mean, maybe That's I the guess. Of I mean, I didn't woman. win because I chose not to win with him. So then he was not who you, that's not who you wanted, which means. Yeah, but. but it's, it's, fine, it's, it's fine, though. If you don't want him, it's fine. A woman's, because here's the thing. Women can always say, oh, well, I left him and I, I'm very picky. Ba -da -da. You know, they can kind of skirt, you know, accountability. Like, is their thing, like, skirt, skirt failure. Man, we take failure all the time. I walk up to a girl, no matter how good looking I am, whatever it is. She, I shoot my shot. Oh, I have a boyfriend. Oh, I'm, I'm not interested right now. Ba -da -da. Women reject men all the time. Men understand very quickly that, you know, you're going to, you're going to take L's. The most attractive guys, you want to know how many, what percentage of girls they actually sleep with that they talk to? Take a guess. What do you think? 100% win rate. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. 20. 20? 20, 30. Like 50. Maybe like 70. I'd say about 20. 50? I feel like it's kind of like the same question that we asked in the beginning. No? Like how many men sleep with? Of, of, give us the number. Give what's us the number. Percent, what's the per if I talk to... To 10 girls, how many of them am I going to sleep with? Probably one. One? Okay. I'll excellent question. One. I'm sorry. Excellent answer. Yes. One, assuming you're top of the line good that you are world-renowned dating coach and you are top, top of, tier. Top of the mook. Top of the mook. Shout out to our boy, Mr. Organic. And tall guy. And tall guy. The best guys in the world that teach men how to get girls close 10% of their leads. 7% for some other guys as well. So it is very difficult for men to actually like get sex from women. I don't think women understand like how difficult it really is. It's easy for you guys because you just pick. So for men, it's very difficult, which again goes back to what I was saying. If a guy runs around and fucks other girls, it ain't that serious because for us, it's so difficult to do. So And there's way more virgin guys than girls, I can guarantee you yeah. that. So for men, our success is measured by how many women can you sleep with. Your, a woman's measure of success is how many men that you actually like are willing to compete commit to you and or commit to you that you actually love and respect. That's what it is. Cool. That's woman's sign of success. Uh, it's, it's that's why every girl wants to walk down an aisle in a white dress with you know with her family watching. There's a reason why little girls are tough from a young age. You know they want to get married. They want to be able to walk down the aisle because that's the ultimate sign of success for a woman. You got a guy to put a ring on it. Uh, Twenty four ninety nine. Hi Michael. React a sign a sale sign on it when it's already been purchased. Bars. Yeah. Facts. Facts. That's why guys don't want their chick showing their ass on the internet. Sean, Sean Mason. Mason hours. I say master because women want the masters of their domain. Masters are in charge of everything that happens around him, and if he allows it in his proximity, it must submit to his authority or not be around him. What do you guys say on No, that? I don't have a problem submitting to a high-value man, but I'm not going to look at him like my master. He's not my father. He's not my master. He's my man. Okay. She ain't playing with y'all. <laughs> Disagree? Um, I agree with being submissive, but like... There's you don't like a the term master? In it's not even the term master. It's just the controlling factor. You know, like, mm -hmm. I'm very open as far as, like, if I'm with you, I'm, you could be on my phone. You could be on your side. 
not it's not that deep. So you're controlling is ambiguous though. Like but, control, if he tells you no girls nights out, is that considered controlling I in your eyes? I feel like that's a little controlling just because my girl nights out. It's sometimes not even like oh we're going to a club. We might be just be chilling, playing games, and drinking wine. No, but we all you know, know what girls nights out means. That means going out to the club or bar. That's but not, not every girls find that enjoying. Like they don't. Not all girls like to go to. <laughs> you I'm know, asking you though. Let's not. I'm asking you. I'm, t- you, I'm just. That's what I'm telling. If your man you. told you no girls nights out, would you do it? I feel like that's kind of controlling because controlling. like my girl nights out, mm-hmm. like we go to adventures. Like we go like bowling. We'll like go on like let's go to virtual reality. I'm talking about a traditional sense. Going to a club, bar, Vegas trip, Miami trip. That's what most girls mean when they say girls nights out. Uh, Hold on. Let's add to that. Know, let's add to that. Let's say you. Do, let's say you do go bowling, or whatever. Right. Some homegirl says, "Hey, come through. We're here at the bowling alley. Next thing is five guys there. So it's still a girls night out, but." Guys are there. I still can respect myself. Mm. All right. Just because guys are there doesn't mean. <laughs> yeah, but you have yeah, to man respect that man enough <laughs> yeah, like, to sit up here and say, okay, I understand there's going to be other guys there. I'm not going to go. And, I would, and I'll let you know, like, if I'm going with my girls and it's like we're supposed to be like with girls and then there's guys, I have no problem telling you, like, yo, guys pulled up. It's, there's nothing but if him. you respect him, then you you See, would not knows. you wouldn't want to go yeah, and, and be around other men because you respect your man enough to not. I, I, I understand that, but it's just more of a like if I'm with my girls, there's times like so I'm not allowed to see my girls anymore. No, no. It's not that. <laughs> they, 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 they come to the house and chill with you. <laughs> All right, and I, so I can't go to their house. I mean, I. Every man is this. different. Every man is different. But the thing that alarms me is that you guys are so willing to like say like that's controlling. I don't. I don't want to deal with that. Whatever it may be. But you expect the man to kind of adhere to his rules. I'll give an example. We live in a world now where if someone breaks into the house, the girls didn't expect me to be the man and protector and be willing to risk my life, right? But if I tell you something like, "Yo, don't go to the club. Yo, don't dress like that." But it is considered controlling. And that's what I'm saying. It's kind of BS for men because a woman, her roles are negotiable versus a man's roles roles are typically always static. But how about if you're very submissive as far as like you allow your man to, okay, you... you Submissive is submissive. You listen to what he says, his word is the end. Okay, so like... Me hanging out with my girls is a problem. For here's the thing, I'm not saying for me I'm personally. I'm just asking like for regular guys. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm, really, I'm just I'm I, I, I I'm speaking in general when I say that if the guy says I don't like this. It shouldn't be a debate. It should be like I ain't doing it. If you want to keep the guy around, yeah. And I want, and I'll say this as well. Your single friends, I'm gonna keep it a stack. It, it, one of the most counterproductive things you could do if you're a single woman looking to get married or anything else like that is hanging out with your single friends. They're gonna teach you all the bad habits and tell you a bunch of bullshit that you don't want it. That isn't going to be conducive to you finding a husband. Oh, let's go girls night out. Let's start it up. Let's take pictures. Let's do all this extra shit. Let's go to Vegas. Let's go to Miami. They're gonna keep you single. I don't know. I feel like the reason I say that is because I feel like not all girl trips are like, hey, let's go to Miami. It's I never had a Miami girl trip like look, that. That's why I love. But you live here. I barely even come to Miami. But look, look. like that's, a, that's get, the crazy part. I get what you're saying. Like, but just the event that something could happen is like, like for example, if I'm with somebody right and I want to commit to them fully, I'm gonna close all doors of, of any type of like t- temptation at all. Yeah. So, but I yeah, that. time your friends, of course. Like you go to beach or whatever. But like girls are not going to clubs. It's kind of like all right. Yeah. I understand like the club is different but it's just like i can't go chill okay now that's a little controlling if i just can't chill, no I'm no, no I'm, I'm not like here's the thing like i said it, it's just like it just comes down to how much do you respect your man if he tells yeah. you i don't want you to go to a club or i don't want you to go out if you love and respect him you ain't gonna go i, I feel like, like those type of things need to be established controlling. like look at it as like okay he wanna he want me to stay in with him you know we could do a movie night we could yeah. chill and vibe or whatever no nah, that's cool i'm not it's like the club is like i understand like because that's all you do do in the club is like guys are gonna come at approach you but it's just like sometimes girl trips are like mis- are taken for like oh you, y'all about to go turn up like nah sometimes girls really just chill out most chill of the time it's, girls. It's, but let's keep it a stack though going to vegas miami whatever is to be yeah. hoes oh no nah, that's different if you're like oh i'm about to go to atlanta during all-star season okay that's okay yeah. you know like there's a difference <laughs> but if i'm like oh, i'm about to go chill with my girls i don't think it should be like oh my gosh you're about to go run the streets yeah no it's, 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 the, it's, it's considered disrespectful to like for most guys they're not going to want their girl going out about it they might not tell you anything about it because they don't want to come off as insecure but guys want to be able to feel comfortable that their girl isn't going to go out and embarrass them like I said men take all the risks when they get into a serious relationship with a girl so on your end as a woman you need to like show that it's wor- you're worthy of that commitment from him you know I mean personally to me I think it's controlling if I want to go to a club with my girls, Mm -hmm. but that could just be like the environment I'm around because Mm -hmm. in college, like, yes, there's guys and girls at a club, but like I've been to clubs many times, like haven't flirted with guys. Like 
a lot of the times the guys don't really have a problem with their girlfriends going out if they want to like stay in, study, whatever. And I feel How old like are you again? Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, I feel like usually when it comes to the point where a guy like has to like say you can't do girls night out, then like you end up losing your friends. Like most of the time, I think that's why like what happens in young relationships. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. And I think we got a special guest in the house as well. Yo, right now, <laughs> let's go to video. Yo, if you're a quick, shout to the channel. Shout to the nigga to story right now. Real talk, let's go to video. It's free and ninjas in the building. All you niggas that are watching, not so to the channel. You're ninja watchers. And you know what? Go to your house, turn up your mom, your daughter, and your dog. That's right. Yo, you guys better like the goddamn video. Because all I have a deal with tonight is cat, and it's been hurt my head. Like the goddamn video, support the channel. I try to wear this ninja mask, I can't ever breathe. Right now, like the video, you fucking ninja watchers. If you don't like the video, this is what's gonna happen to you. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. All right, niggas. If you don't like the video, this is gonna happen to you. This is bromance at its finest. Don't hit me, nigga. I promise I'm going to hit the bar. I've been practicing. Okay, good. Good, guys. Okay. Oh, I want to know my check. You ready? You ready? You ready? Yo, you all right? Yo, you all right? Oh, that's good. You're good. Why are you going to do a video? Niggas, get out of here. Oh, shit. All right, guys, like up. Let's get on Twitch. I swear follow. to God, bro. Like the goddamn video. Every ninja session we do, he hits me. God damn. I didn't mean to. Yo, guys, like the video, man. Oh, man. I'm tired of you ninja watchers just watching the shit and not liking it. Yo. Help us grow in the algorithm because you already know they're about to suppress this because I said a bunch of things that would be termed as misogynistic. <laughs> Yo, shout out to official Tazmac for subbing to the channel with the Amazon Prime. Oh, shout bring out to you, Donald bro. J. Trump back. 